Hi, welcome to another football photography tutorial. This one is kind of a response to, um, to a Reddit question about how to achieve the look um, seen in this photograph right here. Um, maybe it's helpful if I zoom in on it a little bit. There we go. Um, basically, the look that's in this photo is kind of a faded look. I mean, obviously she's smoking, so there's a little bit of faded um, kind of... Uh, foggy smoky look to it anyway but um, but yeah anyway the faded look so um, I gave some tips in the uh, in the response that I gave but um, this uh, this user here botulism was still having trouble in Lightroom so I thought well you know best response is to just go ahead and show somebody how I would do it myself I'm not the original artist this may not be how it was done um, in fact I'm guessing this probably isn't how it was done but this is kind of one way to skin the cat so uh, I'm using Lightroom 2. Um, Lightroom 3 might be better. I'm hoping it would be better because this really kind of sucks, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did anyway. So um, one of the things about the image um, in question is that um, in the shadows where it should be kind of black, it's kind of reddishy orange, right? So that's kind of a split toning kind of look, um, and that's easy to, to replicate in Lightroom. Um, you go down to the split toning panel. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Um, I put in a kind of a, an orangey look, something like that. Um, maybe that's a little bit too saturated, so you could turn the saturation down just a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, just kind of fiddle around with that. Now that's not all of it, obviously. Uh, so first things first, if your black is set to 5, that's kind of the black point on the level slider, just go ahead and set that to 0. You may not see the difference there, so I'll just kind of exaggerate it, but that helps give it a little bit of a faded look. But the key one here is in the um, in the curve. Uh, it's not as easy to fiddle with this as it is in Photoshop. Um, but there you go, turned it on. Um, so what have I done here? Well I set the curve to linear. That takes out some contrast and then I set the um, this little slidery thing here over to the left as far as I could to really bias, um, bias the uh, the shadows slider as much to the very very dark end as possible and then set that to 100 and then um, you could um, punch the darks up a little bit more as well if you wanted to. Um, you could then um, also drop contrast um, if you really wanted to go nuts with that. Um, I don't know that you really have to to achieve what you're setting out to so um, I don't know, I think that's pretty close. There's maybe a bit of a greenish kind of look to this in the highlights. So you could replicate that down here in the split toning and kind of go uh, a little bit greener in the highlights and then uh, take that saturation down just just a little bit like that. Um, I don't know, maybe that's close, maybe it's not, um, but uh, hopefully that was helpful.